One gigantic freight weighing 390 tons. Stop. Where the hell is he going? On the back of a unique vehicle. This definitely isn't your everyday transport. This is a Herculean task. The SPMT, on a trip full of challenges. You try to think every scenario through, so you always have a solution at hand. This heavy abnormal load moves through little villages and over wild rivers. The hard part is driving the 500 plus tons down these slopes with a steady hand, so that it doesn't end up in there. The journey begins in Ferda, in North Rhine-Westphalia. The star amongst transport vehicles is already waiting. The so-called SPMT. It weighs over 110 tons and moves on 20 axles. Each of them can be moved individually, up and down or left and right. Designed for particularly heavy loads. Its maximum speed, 17 kilometers per hour. Today's cargo, a power plant generator, 14 meters long, four meters high, and four meters wide. Weight, 390 tons. With this load, the SPMT hits the road. From the narrow streets of Ferda, it travels 80 kilometers down the Rhine. Then comes the difficult part. 124 kilometers negotiating bridges, roundabouts and sharp bends. Its destination, the power plant in Neurath. The SPMT has a modular design. This means it can be converted as required, something that will benefit the transport team. Head of the whole operation, Daniel Sobczynski. Once the transport begins, he's in control of everything. We have a weight of 450 tons and it wants to be moved. So you always have to keep your eyes open. There will be a little bit of excitement. Another special feature, the SPMT is remote controlled by this man, Andre Seichter. first challenge awaits him, manoeuvring the truck and the generator through the yard gate. Andre, watch out, it's going to the right. He has a close eye on the 20 axles and thus adapts them to any changes on the roads. This is the only way the load remains safe. We have a high center of gravity, and if it goes over that point, it will tip over. But it's going fine. So far, simply running over a curb can, in the worst case, end in disaster. Slightest error in driving. A tiny cost could have a big effect. For example, extra handling maneuvers. If worse comes to worse, we could go off the route. Barely out of the yard, the SPMT's journey continues by river. And steering 450 tons onto a barge is not at all easy for driver Andre. The hard part is driving the 500 plus tons down these slopes with a steady hand, so that it doesn't end up in there. Further, further. With pinpoint accuracy, Andre moves the 20 axles over the temporary bridge onto the boat, without any incidents. Now the SPMT and the generator will head down the Rhine for a day and a half. A short break for the crew.
Back ashore, the SPMT begins its first conversion because the complicated part of the journey is about to start. To master this, so-called vessel bridges are used. These pieces of equipment carry the generator in their center in order to distribute the weight to as many axles as possible. The crew can also adjust the height of the load as required. After conversion, the SPMT reaches a length of over a hundred meters. This does not necessarily make it easier to maneuver. Daniel and his crew now have to monitor even more axles. Of course you only have two eyes, but technically you'd need six. Because you always have to look everywhere. Luckily, we're a well-versed team, so we know what we have to pay attention to. The SPMT has to prove what its technology can do right away. This is because an underpass is now facing the convoy. Therefore, the crew lowers the cargo as best they can, so that the generator can fit under the bridge. The clearance space is just a few inches. Challenge completed. Now it's on to the highway. But the bridges there are not designed for such an enormous weight. Once again, the crew benefits from the SPMT's flexibility. Before Andre's under it, roll straight. They attach six more axles to distribute the load's weight even further. This means that the motorway bridges and tarmac should survive the transport without damage. The plan works. For the final section, there is only one more conversion to be done. The SPMT will be fitted with eight additional axles on each side to distribute the transport weight even further. This gives it a total length of 105 meters. The big problem, ahead of them, en route, is a roundabout with a diameter of only 40 meters. This extremely difficult stage only works in daylight. To cause as little traffic disruption as possible, two teams work simultaneously. They bring the SPMT up to its maximum length of 105 meters. That means 798 tons distributed over 52 axles. With a total length of over 100 meters, taking a roundabout can be quite exciting. Some people can't manage that with a car. Make sure that the wheels don't dig into the ground, Andre. Get it back on solid ground or we'll never get it back out. We've laid plates here, but the ground is still very soft. Now we have to make sure that we don't sink in or get stuck. I really have to concentrate now. The ground is now wet due to the rain. Pulling over 700 tons out of the mud is almost impossible. This makes the crew even more tense. You're already on the inside shoulder. One tire is in the mud on the inside, still drivable. Those people need to go away. Please, everybody who doesn't have to do with the transport, five meters back. Back up behind the tree. It's easing up a bit on the inside, Daniel. You're back on concrete. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Go have a look at front right. He's too close to the barrier. Where the hell is he going? The team checks every axle very carefully. And after a few teething problems, it's looking quite good. Exit right, no problem.
A lot of middle, Careful yeah. in the middle. The, axle. the axles. The roundabout challenge has almost been overcome. Brutal, isn't it? With these spatial conditions, there wasn't anything else to do. But in the end, we made it through. It doesn't look nice, but it was nicely done. Thanks to the flexibility of the SPMT and the perfectly distributed load on all axles, the crew was able to master all challenges and deliver the load to its destination on time at around 1 a.m. In its new power plant, the generator will now produce up to 4,000 megawatts. Only made possible by an experienced transport crew and the spectacular technology of the SPMT. I can finally start to take it easy. On the whole, we pulled it off smoothly. Mission complete.